Hey Divines! I am currently fanning out my face to dry it out. I just did a workout. So this is actually the best time for you guys to see my hair in its natural state. So for you to see my shininess, to see my oily skin, to see my dark circles, everything. Everything, everything, everything. So let's get into it right so let me show you what we're doing today we are color correcting our dark circles okay so i have been working on my skin for basically a year i have been using different scrubs i've been using different serums and moisturizers and mattifiers and setting sprays I have been doing a multitude of different products for this and I finally found the ones that make me happy. So one is Myel Organics. So you'll see that Myel Skin is what I use very often um, in the mornings. In the evening I use Urban Skin RX. I absolutely love the cleansing bar. It's bomb. It's fire. So. If you're looking for one black owned business, cause today is blackout day, seven, seven, My Earl Organics and Urban Skin RX, okay? And so what those two businesses do that I love, one is create products for every skin type, okay? So I am going to show you a little bit. You can kind of see, I'm tilting my head down so you can kind of see the puffiness and the dark circles that I have here. One of the reasons is because I have been staying up late and waking up early. Why, I do not know. <laughs> but I have, so I do have a little bit of puffiness. Also, it is allergy season, friends. It is allergy season, and I'm taking allergy medicine every day. So my eyes are a little puffy. They're runny. They're watery. The whole nine. My, eye, my eyelashes are irritating me right now, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here to brighten this up. Um, and this is what makes this an important tutorial because there are days where you just want to throw on something on your face, brighten it up, take this oily shininess away or whatever it may be. Maybe you need shine on your face. Your skin is too dry. And so this is a quick way to do a light foundation makeup without really putting on foundation at all. Okay, so you have a couple options you can do to brighten your dark circles you can use a concealer here i use maybelline the same way i use my foundation which is the other option you can do and that is either maybelline the actual foundation which also comes in two options if you have dry skin they have dewy and if you have um oily skin they have matte and that is what I use, I use matte. And then the other option is by Beauty Bakery and they have Insta Bake Foundation. And this is fire. So I will be using Insta Bake today and I'm not gonna use the Maybelline today. You can, um, and let me explain to you how you can do that. I have a couple other options I'll show you all. Just because everyone does things differently. Everyone doesn't like using foundation. Everyone doesn't like using liquid. So we'll figure that out, okay? So with the Maybelline, if you want to use your own foundation, like you have a foundation for your full face, you truly should have at least three foundations. You should have a shade darker. You should have a shade that is your shade. And then you should have a shade that's a shade dark, lighter than you. Okay, so for my color, I tend to use Golden Dull for my brighter. Cappuccino is my actual skin tone. And I will contour with coconut most of the time. If it's the summertime, I tend to go a little deeper and I go into mocha. So I'm going to hold all four of these next to each other so you all can see. Okay, so that gives you an array of different shades that you should have in your supply. 
especially if you live in a climate that has four seasons because you're always going to be changing your skin tone depending on how much sun you have. Uh, so that's very important. But I'm going to put these back because we're doing the quick way today. We're doing, I just want to brighten up my eyes and keep it moving. Your other option you can use are sticks, foundation sticks. These are Fenty Beauty match sticks is what she calls them. And so you can see my highlight and contour colors. And so I just got the two that go together. And like I was saying, that's up to you. I have used these as well. Um, and what I can do actually is use this match stick to get us started. And it gives that tackiness under here and really fills in and color corrects. And then I can put the foundation over it. So maybe we'll do both. Let's do one eye one way and one eye the other way. Sounds good? Okay, sounds great. So let me grab a good brush. We wanna go with a round brush if we can. I think this one is a little smaller, so I'm gonna go with this one. And let's grab this stick, and I'm gonna show you on one side, okay? Now, I'm gonna dab my face a little bit because I am press burning just a little. Then I'm going to grab a little primer and I'll show you guys what this primer does. Especially if you have oily skin. If you have dry skin, you wanna get you a primer that adds moisture. So it may say dewy or sometimes wet. It depends on what the description is. For me, I love the MAC Skin Redefine Zone ointment. And what this does is literally takes away the shine right away. So let's do that. And I'll put a dot here, here, and here, okay? And let me show you how it looks when I rub it in. Look at that, instantly gone. All the shine is gone. So let me rub this in. Make sure I get my forehead, because that's the shiniest part. Even though we're not working on our forehead today, I want you all to see it on the camera, that all that shine is gone. I will do my eyelids as well, because I get that oily crease right here. And you should see that shine should be gone. So I absolutely love this primer. It helps get started and it creates a nice base. So. The matchstick is very soft. It has this velvety. Yeah, oh wow, okay. That was even better than I thought. Okay, so it has this velvety texture. The only reason why sometimes I will not use this is because it takes away the natural highlight I have in my cheeks. You can see the difference in these three. So if I use my matchstick, I tend to have to go all the way through and make them completely match. See how I fill that in? There we go. And you wanna make sure that you're getting right under that lash line. And that's gonna help correct those dark circles. And you probably can see if I tilt my head down, it's already filling in some of that puffiness and the dark circle. Now, if I want it, I could just pat this in with my fingers, rub it in, and we're done. Like, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to blend. I am okay. So that's an option. You, have, you can do matchsticks. And now I'm gonna show you what foundation does over here, but then also, putting in foundation over the matchstick. For me, that just makes it look flawless. So I'm going to take my Beauty Bakery and do a little pump, which I love the application of this foundation. It's not messy at all. That's it. So I'm going to add my lines so that I can spread out the product that I have on my brush. 
and then I'm gonna go back and I'm pulling down first only because I want to spread the product normally when you put apply foundation or things on your face you always want to go in an upward motion so you saw with the stick I went around and up for this first foundation layer I need to pull it down to make sure how close can I get to my eye once I do that then I can sweep under back and forth and that's going to one do that first layer for color correction right under that eye so I'm going to tilt my head down again and you can see that that first layer it did something it's just not as bright as the matchstick it's not as full coverage as I would like it to be but that is another reason why I like using the foundation first instead of the stick because I can always add more and start with a little. Now I'm going to show you if I do a little pump and add it to the matchstick side. And what this is going to do is completely blend that color in and give me a little bit more natural look and brightness. So what I'm doing is doing the triangle right here. Under the eye, to the side of the hairline, through to the mouth, back up. That's the triangle. It's right in your T-zone. Thank you, thank you. So, I personally like the blend of both, which is why I do those together. But I'm gonna go back and add another layer on this side to create that full coverage. So we did the one layer. And I'm going back in with my second. And this is where we have to blend through. Now, when you do just foundation, you have to have your setting powders ready, which is why I have those out and ready to go. With this side, you don't have to, but it's gonna take away this night, this little glisten I have right under my eye. Cause what it's doing right now is, it's creating this blur right there where I'm still seeing the crease in my puffy eye or my dark circle and I don't want that. So we wanna take that away. Okay, so you can kind of see the difference. I'm a little brighter on this end than this end. One is giving me more warm tones. So what I'm gonna do is work with it. So I'm gonna take my matchstick and I'm going to add a little warmth on this side to match the other side. Yes, it's still good to use a brush with your matchsticks. You can also use a sponge if you like. That is totally up to you. So look at that. I barely have on foundation. I don't even have anything on my forehead. I could use the residue from my under eye and bring that up to my forehead. Before I apply my setting powder, I will be asked, answering your questions, so drop them in the question box or in the comments below. So I just took the extra, the excess, and put it on my forehead just because, like, why not? Okay. But I don't want to focus here. I want to focus here. Okay, because what I would normally do is then take that darker, which is your contour, you can take that darker color and blend around your hairline. You definitely want that blend here, 
um, or you can add the contours here, but you don't have to. I want to focus on that. Now, let me show you how to add your powders to give you this finished look that's fantastic. It's just gonna give us this nice matte look, mainly because, like I told you, is because of the my oily skin. So some of the questions are, let's see. What is the brand of the matchstick? The brand of the matchstick is Fenty Beauty. They are magnetic, they stick together, and you can pick whatever colors you want. I picked a highlight, or it was actually my skin tone, but I picked like a neutral color and I picked a contour color to go together. Good question. And the next question is, what did you put under your eye? I missed it. So I told you, there you go. Uh, so that is the matchsticks and also Beauty Bakery's Instabake. This is a foundation. So we did both. We tried matchstick, then we tried foundation, then we tried matchstick and foundation, and I like them together. So now you have setting powders. Setting powders you want to get, I call tinted and translucent. So you want one that is going to be your skin tone that's going to give you this nice finished set. Then you have translucent, which is pure white. So it all depends on your skin tone. But you want one that matches your skin tone and then you want one that is brighter than you. The one that's brighter than you, you can use as a base under all of this. But that's for full face foundations. Today we're focusing on dark circles. So I have two different colors. I have my Maybelline setting spray and I have my Juvia's Place setting spray. As you can see one is more warm than the other. One is cool, one is warm. Because it's summertime and I have a lot of slight tan, we're gonna go with the warmer one. You wanna make sure you have a fluffy brush has a lot of movement and is full. You wanna tap the inside, you should see enough. Tap your brush to get off the excess and you want to lightly apply right under your eye. And you should be able to see already that it's finishing off this look under my eye. It's all right here. You can see it on this side, but over here it's gone. What this setting powder step is going to do is bring everything together and make it look like a natural skin, like it is yours. Okay, I'm gonna tap that again. Because I brought some of that foundation down, I'm going to add some setting spray over it. I mean setting powder, sorry. And that's because I brought it lower. And mainly because I have this tan. So if I would have only color corrected right under my eye, but didn't bring it down into my cheeks, I would be blotchy and we don't want that. So you should all should be able to see already. Here's the line. Soft glow, no dark circles, no creases. This side has the coverage. However, it is still shiny and it doesn't have that flawless look. So. Let's finish that off. Let's add that there. And bring it down. Okay. Oh, I still have some down here. So let's look down. We have a slight puffiness and that's just the actual shape of my eye. But in terms of dark circle and creases, they're gone. So let's do that. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay guys. So let's do a recap so you know what you need. You need you 
whichever applicator you think is going to be easiest for you but don't forget your primer it does help sometimes i do not like to prime because i am lazy but i'm being honest but i do make sure if i'm going to be oily or if it's a hot day like it is today with the humidity i'm going to put on the mattifying primer you could choose to do matchsticks foundation or concealer concealer is like the staple you guys can definitely use a concealer I'm not saying you can't however if you use concealer and only concealer make sure that you get one that matches your skin so that it is just natural you're just covering the blemishes and you can go about your day please do not get a light concealer and try to use it for your foundation all right and last but not least a good setting spray so good setting uh setting powder sorry guys i'm going to show you setting sprays that's because i'm looking at them okay so your setting powders juvia's place maybelline and beauty bakery if i had to truly pick between the colors and the richness and the actual absorption i'm going to say beauty bakery okay and they call all their different products like bakery products. So their setting powder is called flour. Okay, just so you know that when you're looking for it. Now, because I keep saying it and I'm looking at them is the setting sprays. So if you are going off for your day, you're going to work, but maybe you work long hours <laughs> and you want your makeup to last and you don't want those dark circles or that skin to crease right there. A good setting spray options are Morphe and Beauty Bakery. So this one may look different to you because it is newer and it is the mattifying version of the Morphe setting spray. I also have the all black one. Actually, I believe I have it right here. Uh, but the all black setting spray is just the original and it works just as good, but I've been wanting to try the mattifying one because I am oily. So let's see how it looks. So it has a nice mist to it. It's very quiet. Ooh, that smells fresh too. Okay. So now that I have my setting spray on, I'm going to fan it out and see how that dries very matte. Oh yeah, it's drying matte already. Okay, Divines. Thank you for joining me for Tutorial Tuesday and check in next week. I may, I may be taking down my braids. We'll see. So far it has been, as of today, a week. And as you can see, they're doing pretty good. I just wanted to point that out to you guys. I've just been touching up my edges. I've been tying it down every night. Uh, if your braids, even if you have another protective style, foam will keep your braids very smooth. You put foam on them and you tie them down and you're all set. So thanks for joining today. See you next week.